Hello, this is Porter Nielsen with Random Artech, and this is homework three, how to improve your AIM script. So we had basically three, three homework assignments, how to improve the AIM script by making the look inverted of what it currently is, uh, experiment with the AIM functionality. So we are trying to just see what happens, try and understand the last tutorial um, by putting the X and Y rotation only on the rigid body and not the rigid body and the camera, and then make look sensitivity changeable. This is a very short, short tutorial, so... Uh, let's go ahead and get started. Now that we have Unity open, we're going to make it so the bow and arrow is inverted, right? So, as you can see... Oh, there's actually an error that you saw. We need to make the bow a child of the camera. There we go. So go to our aim script. And then serialize field. Boolean. Invert aim. So that way we can change it on the fly if we want. We're going to say false by default. So on the aim logic, I'm going to go int. I don't know what to call it. Aim modifier equal to negative one by default. So I'm going to times the rotation by negative one. So as I go up, it'll do the opposite of what it's currently doing. So if, what do we call it? Invert aim. If invert aim, then we basically make the modifier equal 1. That's it. So down here, where we have the up and down, we go aim modifier times 1. So it's going to give me the value between negative 1 and 1, and then just times it by the aim modifier. So that's negative 1 or 1. So let's go ahead and check this out and see how that works. So my shoot method is right there. I don't want inverted aim, so let's see if this works. It's going up and down perfectly. Yep, yeah, there we go. And eventually we're going to be able to shoot up. Let's go ahead and do the experiment where we try and change it so that, I'm going to just comment this out, that the ridge body actually is, is doing the X and the Y at the same time. So I'm going to create a new vector and call this rotation. And then new vector 3. Now I'm just going to do the up-down for the X and the left-right for the Y. So it's kind of a combination of the, the two ve vectors there. Now I'm going to copy this, comment this thing out. And then instead of putting rotation here, I'm just going to do rotation. Instead of rotation Y, rotation. So let's see how this works. Now hopefully as you played around with it, you saw what I what's going to happen. But it works, but what's changing as well? It's also changing the Z roll. So as I roll like that, <laughs> the C-axis moves more and more. The reason why is we're working between vector threes and quaternions, and they don't always play around nicely. There's some workarounds, but I just found that the easiest way was to just basically affect the rigid body and the cam camera differently on different axes. So there we go. Now the last thing was basically make the... Uh, the, the aim sensitivity variable. So I'm going to say serialized field. Let's call it float vertical mouse sensitivity. So I'm going to set that equal to 1 there. I'm going to go here and say vertical mouse sensitivity. And maybe set the default as 3 there. So I can also do this with the horizontal values, but I don't really care. So let's see how that works out. And it's looking pretty good. Let's change it to 20. And you can see, yep, it's working out. If I do it to 0.5, it's going to be double fast. Because divide by 0.5 is the same as times by 2. So that's it. So the next video tutorial is going to be the projectile physics. We're going to talk about shooting the arrow, adding relative force, Variable manipulation in other scripts, enabling and disabling scripts. Arcing of the arrow using trigonometry, because the physics isn't going to look right without that. Uh, finding angle of elevation, a little math, and then the third topic is embedding objects on collision. So as uh, on trigger enters, manipulation of rigid bodies, things like that. All right, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Um, go ahead and subscribe and check us out on Patreon. Thanks.